Last week, Team Autocar and two lucky readers, Atman and Ayush, set out on the journey of a lifetime. From Jaisalmer, one of the driest places in India, to Mohsin Rom in Meghalaya, the wettest place in India. The first three days of the drive saw the group enjoy a largely trouble-free journey from Jaisalmer to Allahabad in the Audi A4 and A6 sedans. But now, things get more intense. We are at the Triveni Sangam in Allahabad and this is the starting point where we will go from Allahabad today all the way to Patna in Bihar which is a roughly 370 to 380 kilometer drive. Uh, the cars are ready, the drivers are ready and the place is fast filling up with devotees even though it's just 7 a.m. So I think we should get this show on the road. So we are on our way to Patna today, uh, today is the fourth day of the trip and uh, it's been quite entertaining till now. I have never been to this area before and uh, even Allahabad when we left from Allahabad today morning, I had never been to Allahabad seeing, watch, seeing the Sangam and then riding next to Adi in the A4 2.0 TDI, it's been quite a lot of fun with some uh, very interesting short uh, drives we have had. Uh, crossing through UP and uh, Bihar. The car is very comfortable to sit in the front and uh, as you can see that I have been sitting here for the four, since what 7 a.m. now and it's about 3.30 and I'm very comfortable still in the car. A4 and A6 are of course our bread and butter car when it comes to the sedan segment. They can take you from these places in a very comfortable way. You can travel in style, you can travel fast, you can travel in comfort, you can travel very efficiently because both cars have been diesel cars and definitely when it comes to our A lineup, the A4 and the A6 are our very strong contestants and they can only be topped by the A8 which is the flagship. After a largely uneventful drive from Allahabad into rural Bihar, the team stopped for a quick snack at a roadside dhaba only to walk away with something extra. Two CDs of the latest Bhojpuri pop tunes that would accompany them all around India. With the epic soundtrack ringing out over the Bose sound systems, the convoy entered the chaos of Patna traffic. After covering 300 odd kilometers in relative ease, the sheer lawlessness on the roads required extra care to tackle. But even as dusk approached, the cars were securely tucked away at the hotel, resting up in anticipation of day 5. Behind me is Golgar in Patna and this is the start of day 5 of the Audi Great India Quattro Drive. We are now on our way to Siliguri in West Bengal and although this means that this is the end of our lavish four-lane highway stint of the drive, I think we will make good progress nonetheless. But even as the team headed out from Patna onto the highway, it was clear that the good times were gone. The roads, such as they were, had mini cliffs on them rather than potholes and the drivers were left wondering if the Audi Qs would have been a better choice for this leg. But with their precise steering and the Quattro system, the Audi sedans carried on with panache, albeit with the drivers applying full concentration for extended periods of time. Just when we thought that the craters would go on forever, 
a clean stretch of dual carriageway appeared, giving us the chance to slot the Audis into sport mode and make up some time. We are now about 200 kilometers away from our destination, Siliguri. And although the road is pretty smooth at the moment, that wasn't the case about 20 minutes ago. The whole stretch was completely dug up uh, and in parts non-existent, uh, NH31 this is, and it slowed our speed right down to a crawl and took a lot of time out of our journey. But it seems fine now and should carry on this way all the way to West Bengal and Siliguri. Having made it to Siliguri by night, the team hit the road again the next morning for the 140km drive through the greenery of rural Bengal to Kooch Bihar. Though narrow, the roads were far better surfaced than the crater paths experienced in Bihar and the Audi sedans pushed on through, happy for a respite from the pounding. Greetings from Coach Bihar. Well, it might look like it's about 6 in the evening right now, but actually it's 7 a.m. on a May morning. And we are on our way from here to Guwahati. Now, it's been raining quite a bit, so this trip is really living up to its theme of going from the driest place in the country to the wettest place in the country. And, well, given the weather, I think our progress might be slowed just a little bit, but we can make good time if we drive carefully. Once the security checks at the border were cleared, we got our first taste of roads in the northeast. Like in Bihar, this stretch of Assam's highways were cratered, but it was all the water filling the craters that left the drivers guessing and a bit tentative. But the combination of a firm chassis and good ground clearance saw the A4 and A6 cross all obstacles and make it to Gauhati for the night. Greetings from what is actually a very, very sunny Gauhati. We are now on the last leg of the Audi Great India Quattro Drive and that means we are going to Mohsenram, which is supposedly the wettest place in the country. We're stopping at Shillong on our way just briefly, but that's where we're headed and hopefully it will live up to its name. The road out of Gauhati, NH37, was a surprise. Four lanes, a good mix of tight corners and mid-size straights, and if it's ever finished, it has the potential to be a great driving road. Once into Meghalaya and past the blink and you'll miss it turn off to Mohsenram, the last leg of the drive though was a bit special. With countryside that looked more like the Scottish Highlands than rural India, the stunning scenes made sure the expedition arrived in Mohsenram in high spirits to end leg one of the great Indian Quattro Drive. Well, here we are at our journey's end. Beautiful little village of Mohsenram, which you can see just behind me. And I have with me our two contest winners, Ayush and Atman. Guys, how have you enjoyed the journey? It's been absolutely amazing, especially starting from Jaisalmer, where all you see is sand, heading up to uh, Mohsenram in Meghalaya, where you're driving through the clouds and crossing all kinds of terrains in the middle. It's been absolutely phenomenal. It has, hasn't it? And Atman, what about the cars? What do you think about the cars? The cars have been nice, yeah. They've been nice and powerful and comfortable and they've handled India's roads pretty well. <laughs> they have. So what we've done here, in essence, is take two luxury cars slightly out of their element and take them all the way from the driest part in the country, Jaisalmer, to the wettest part, Mohsenram. And I have no doubt about the fact that this is the wettest part of the country. It's sad to leave this lovely place behind, but we have to get a move on. So, bye-bye.
next week, a fresh beginning on leg two as a new cast of drivers take Audi's Q SUVs, the Q3 and Q5, from Churu to Dras on a journey from the hottest to the coldest place in India. That's on the Audi Great Indian Quattro Drive, powered by Autocar.